Hi, my name's Dale, and welcome to my shop. Today, I've got a milling machine tip for you I know you're gonna love. I think any great tip has to meet up with four criteria. The first one is, it has to be easy to make, two, easy to use, three, cheap, but fourth, the most important, is it has to be effective. And that's what I've come up with today. So, you know, when you're working on the milling machine, our, the metal flies everywhere. And what we try to do is design our cuts to have the material flow away from us. And especially when you're using a fly cutter, you know, these can really push the chips out into the room. Well, I tried all sorts of things to help stop um, the chips from flying all over the shop. And I used magnets, I used wood, I used plastic, you know, all these things. And then I finally came up with what I'm gonna show you right now. And it's taking advantage of these two bolt holes on the end of your vise. Now, these holes are set up so you can move your vise jaw to the back of your vise and expand its capacity. Well, what we're gonna use this for is to hold this piece of sheet metal. Now you can see I put two slots in here that match up to the bolts and it slides right in. Couldn't work out better. Now let me show you an extra little um, item to this is you'll see that this is curved. The reason it's curved like that is to spring load it when you're on the bolts and to help hold it in place. And you can see that works out really, really well. So I hope you've enjoyed this uh, little tip today. Um, if you did, please subscribe to my channel. So until next time, go out in your shop, build something cool. Thanks.